first exercise in the Pilates workout is always the 100. So everyone find the center of your mat and sit. Knees are bent, feet are flat on the floor. Place your hands behind your knees and walk your hands down and uncurl your back. Your back should be flat on the mat, your head is down, your shoulders are relaxed. Breathing is a key issue. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. When you exhale, make sure you press your belly button to the spine for support. Bring your knees into your chest. Stretch your legs up. Lift the arms six inches off the floor. Reach with your fingertips. Pull your rib cage together and lift up the head. Excellent, there's your position. It's perfect. Now inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Add the pumping of the arms. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Beautiful. Always connecting into that powerhouse. When you exhale, imagine my hand on your stomach and you're pushing your belly button away from my hand as you exhale. If your lower back feels strong, lower the legs down and give yourself a little challenge. Nice. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. If you have a delicate neck, simply put your head down or use a pillow for support. If you have a delicate back, please bend your knees. She's still pushing into that powerhouse, I can tell. Inhale through the nose, increase that circulation. Very beautiful, everyone. Bring your knees into your chest. Great. Lower your head down. Take your hands and place them on your ankles. Take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the nose. Beautiful. Release your hands, place your feet on the floor, and let's get ready to do the roll up. This exercise really challenges your powerhouse. Make sure that you're pulling the belly button into the spine as you execute this exercise. It really does help. Let's test that concept. Keep your belly button pulled into your lower spine as you stretch the legs out. Try not to change that. There's your support. Very nice. Bring your arms back over your head. Try not to take your arms too far back because I don't want you to arch your upper back and stick your ribs out. So close your ribs, only go as far as you can go and still be in control. Bring your arms up. Nice, fingertips reaching the ceiling. Then lift up your head, continue rolling over until you're reaching past your feet. Roll down, belly button to the spine. Nice, vertebrae by vertebrae and bring the arms back. Five more times. Inhale to come up. Good. Exhale to reach over. Imagine I'm pulling your hands a little bit further this time. Roll down. Inhaling. And exhale. Roll the rest away. Inhaling up. And exhale over. Lengthen the legs as you go. Try not to let the legs come up. Roll down. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Control that with your powerhouse. If you have delicate issues in your back and you find this difficult to do, you can build strength in the powerhouse by taking your hands behind your knees, pulling the powerhouse in, and rolling back as far as your arms will go, and then use the powerhouse and not the arms to bring yourself back up. And lift up and reach over. Nice, everybody. Longer, longer, longer. And roll down using the powerhouse. Go vertebrae by vertebrae. Last one. Here we go. And inhale to come up. Belly button in. Use that powerhouse. Stretch over. Stretch the back and the hamstrings as you reach a little bit further. And roll down. Inhaling through the nose. And exhaling. Bring the arms down by your side. That's a very nice relaxing exercise and it's great for flexibility. Now we're going to get ready for the single leg circles. Bring one knee into your chest and stretch it straight up. The leg is like an arrow coming out of your hip socket. We're going to cross the leg over the body, swing it down and up. Ready? And cross down and up. Use your powerhouse for control. Don't let the hips wiggle. No hula dancing. 
Make sure your arms are supporting you as well as your powerhouse. Nice. Reverse and don't forget to breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. Breathe with the movement. If your hips are tight, your hamstrings are tight, simply bend both knees and make your circles a little smaller. Bend one knee in, put the foot on the floor, bring the other knee into your chest. Stretch the leg straight up, lengthen that leg, lengthen the muscles, nice, long, loose legs. Here we go, and cross down and up, five times. Pull that powerhouse in, and when the leg crosses the body, don't allow the hip to lift off your mat. Keep both hips down, and reverse. Down, cross, and up. Stay inside the frame of the body. Inhale through the nose, and exhale through the nose. Right, beautiful work, everyone. Bring the knee into the chest. Place the foot on the floor, and stretch the leg out. Rolling like a ball, six times. This is a great exercise to massage your spine. Lift up your head. Let's roll up to a sitting position using your hands if you need to. Sit up tall. Place your hands by your hips. Push with your hands so your hips elevate off the mat. Bend your knees and scoot yourself so that your buttocks is touching your heels as closely as possible. Take one hand over the other. Wrap them around your ankles. Keep yourself in a nice tiny little ball making a C curve in the back, the head is down. Are you guys ready? Let's lean back a little bit and balance. Right, see if you can find your balance. Pull your powerhouse in and roll back and come up. Use that powerhouse. And again, roll back and up. Balance and control. Roll back and come up. Breathing as you go and again, roll back pull yourself up with your powerhouse again two more roll back and up last one watch Dagny for modifications and up very nice place your feet on the floor take your hands by your side push yourself back to the center of the mat pull your powerhouse in roll down the spine and we're ready for the single leg stretch Bring one knee into your chest. Take the same hand as leg, lift it up and place it on the outside of the ankle. Take the opposite arm, lift it up and place it on the inside of the knee. Lift up the bottom leg so it's in a 45 degree angle. Pull the rib cage in and lift up the head. Now you can see your legs. Make sure you keep your legs as you're changing inside the frame of the body. Tug the leg gently towards you, one, two. Switch, taking the same arm to the ankle, outside. And change, one, two, beautiful. Don't forget to breathe. You're still gonna get some great benefits in the modified version. Pulling the stomach in and connecting the breath to the powerhouse is very important in this exercise. And one, two. Please breathe, inhale, and as you exhale, connect the breath into the belly button. Bring both knees in. Beautiful job, everyone. Lower the head down. And now, we're ready to do the double leg stretch. Six times. Everyone, please lift your head off the mat. Yes, you're in a folding position. Now we're gonna unfold the body, stretching the arms by the ears and the legs out to a 45 degree. Ready and stretch long. Everything pulls away from the center. And exhale through the nose as you reach around and hug your ankles. Again, inhale, reach long. Feel like you're stretching first thing in the morning. And reach around and hold your ankles. Again, inhaling through the nose. Take all the air in and reach your arms around and pull. Very nice. And inhale. This is very nice modification. She's still gonna get some great benefits. She's stretching the arms and legs and using the powerhouse to motivate the body coming back. Nice. And inhale one last time. Reach the arms around. Pull the belly button to the spine and hold. 
Beautiful, everyone. Put your feet on the floor. Release your arms down by your side and lower your head. Single straight leg follows. Ten times. This is a great exercise to engage your powerhouse and to get some flexibility in your hamstrings. Bring one knee into your chest. Stretch the legs straight up. Nice, long leg. Bring the other knee into the chest and stretch it out to a 45 degree angle. Beautiful. Take your hands behind your ankle, calf, or thigh, whichever you can get. Lift your head off the mat and breathe as you gently tug the leg towards you twice. Switch legs like scissors cutting through the air. Beautiful. One, two. Dagny over here is getting still some great benefits by stretching the hamstring and engaging her powerhouse. Don't forget you can put a pillow under your head if you need some extra support. And again, one, two. Bring both knees into your chest, take a hold of your ankles, and lower your head down. And let's get ready for the double straight leg six times. Release your arms from your ankles and reach around and take your hands behind your head, one on top of the other. Don't lace your fingers. Stretch your legs up. This is great for your powerhouse and control. Close your ribs, lift up your head, be supported. Lower the legs down between a 90 and a 45 degree angle. Squeeze your buttocks, pull your powerhouse in and bring the legs back up. Lower down, squeeze your tushy, pull the powerhouse in. And again, keep the elbows open and the rib cage in. Dagny's doing a great job over here. 